Hello and welcome to Heat D of Robot Carnage, where another four robots will be fighting it out for a place in the series semi-finals. Last week, Ice 2 hacked and sliced through the competition, including previous semi-finalist Atomic. They had a tough time getting through, but found its strength and moved on to the semi-final as well. Let's see who we have entering the arena tonight. The luckiest of mice are back as the mischief mice rejoin the fight as our sixth seed. And our returning deadly axe bot Xerox returned seeded 8th for the series. Mischief will want to see if their luck can get them one step further than the semi-final. And that goes for Xerox too, as both of them were just one step away from the grand final. Let's see if they can make it this time around. Mischief Mice The wacky mice return with their unpredictability and lack of teamwork to confuse the opposition. Their obsession with the pit is their main weakness, but that's where all the cheese is! Shadow of Napalm It's big, bulky, uncontrollable, with a small lifting arm. It has speed on its side, but let's be fair, we know what's gonna happen here. Roboteers, stand by. Three, two, one, activate. Mischief Mice. Seeded 6 for the competition versus the cheese-like wedge of Shadow of Napalm. A mischief will use its confusing driving to confuse its opposition. So we'll see how that works out for them. One of the mice going for a tumble. And now Shadow of Napalm managing to knock one of them over! Using its body, throwing the mouse over and onto its back. Excellent drive from Shadow of Napalm. So now it just has the one mouse to go after. Maurice going for a bit of a spin, Shadow of Napalm, pinning them into the barrier. Maurice managing to get away, Shadow of Napalm still hanging around the edge. Managing to go for them again. Good display from Shadow of Napalm. And Maurice trying to resuscitate its brother, but no such luck, Shadow of Napalm keeping them at bay. All around the arena. And now, is something gone wrong with the drive? It looks like one of their wheels has jammed. Okay, they can reverse. And Murray's almost toppling itself with Shadow of Napalm's wedge, but they seem to be having an awful lot of problems. They can go backwards, but they're going in circles trying to go forwards. So what has happened? Murray's trying to bring its brother brother back to life and not managing, it's just pushing them around in circles. Shadow of Napalm are still There is some control, but not a lot of it. They're jittering around and Maurice just driving around. A, a bit of a slam there and they've come to a halt and Shadow of Napalm are being counted out! Well, this is a surprise. They were doing very well. They managed to beat one of the mice. But unfortunately, Mischief is the winner. Cease! It was a valiant effort, but Shadow of Napalm immobilized sends the mice into the next round. They'll need to keep up that lucky streak when they face the winner of this next fight. Xerox. Eight seed Xerox have improved their axe by giving it a sharp point to pierce through armor. Their drive has improved slightly, but they need to work on their control to get those axe hits in. Petrify. What happens when you can't move in fear? You're petrified. Especially when this gets a hold of you. That claw looks good and strong but the sides are very weak to attacks, and its wheels are exposed. Roboteers, stand by. Three, two, one, activate. Xerox, already firing its axe, completely missing its target, Petrify. Are trying to get around, maybe try to get them from the back to avoid that axe, which is hitting everything except its opponent and Petrify, bringing the claw down. Didn't quite make contact that time. Missing them again, Xerox running away, the axe down. And still firing. It's like, it's like they just fire the axe and hope for the best. The pit's going down, Petrify. Managed to get a hold of them, but let them go. Xerox slamming into the wall. And trying to get away. It's almost as if they're a little bit scared to fight Petrify. I mean, with that claw, I can see why. It is quite a, a looming sort of claw, and now they've got a hold of Xerox and leading them towards the pit. And 
Just like that, Xerox are in! Petrify calmly controlled them towards the pit, jammed the weapon up so they couldn't fire the axe, just lined themselves up, aimed for the pit, and then using its ramp, they let Xerox slide backwards into it. And the axe still going madly, and Petrify go through to the next round. Cease! A great pitting there by the control bot as Xerox is thrown into the pit. Petrify will now fight our unlucky mice and see if it can control two machines at once. Roboteers, stand by. Three, two, one. Activate. The mice about to try and use its tactics of driving around, confuse the opposition. That's what they seem to do and Petrify, slumming Maurice into the wall and not letting it go, bringing the claw down and managing to hold them. And now slamming them into the walls again. Now going for the other mouse. And toppling them, toppling them over, using the ramp and throwing the other mouse over and back onto its wheels. Luckily, these mice can self right if they're thrown in the right direction. And now, managing to get nearly get a hold of them, they're bringing the claw down and almost trying to get a hold of them. It's almost like it's teasing them into the corner. They're managing to pin the mouse, but not actually grabbing them. Now, I'm not sure if that's uh, something they're trying to do or something they've planned or while the pit's going down anyway. So we're about to see what happens and slammed in and grabbed one of the mice and leading them directly towards the pit! Well, that was controlled! In, bringing the claw down and then dumped the mouse into the pit. It was almost like that entire first half, they were just teasing them. Like a cat to these mice and managing to get a hold of Maurice and doing exactly the same and that is it! Petrify! Managed to take out both mice. It's all, almost like training. As if they knew they were going to get through to the semi-final. And pretty much just dumped the mice in. Without any real effort at all. And they've beat both seeds. They're through. Cease. Petrify proving to be a dominant force in this competition. And finds itself in the semi-final. Mischief will get another chance to move forward. But not before we have our redemption round. Roboteers, stand by. Three, two, one. Activate. Xerox straight into the side of Shadow of Napalm, and it's only just turned and going in with that axe. And Xerox are absolutely battering Shadow of Napalm into oblivion, who haven't moved at all, apart from just to turn the other way. I would say it was possibly caused by damage from the earlier round, but they never took any damage, and they're being counted down already. Well, this must be the quickest fight we have ever had on Robot Carnage. Cease. Well, that wasn't much of a fight. Shadow of Napalm hardly moved, giving Xerox the win. They will now fight the mice for that chance to compete in the semi-final. One seed stays, one seed goes home. Roboteers, stand by. Three, two, one. Activate. Only one seed will go through to the semi-finals. Xerox spinning around and managing to knock Maurice over onto the pit floor. An excellent piece of driving there, just managing to use the ramp and throwing them onto their back. So now, only one mouse remains for the axe bot to take care of, and I think they've managed to get themselves jammed. They're trying to get away, swinging that axe, trying to get a bit of momentum. And the other mouse, Managing to free them. I think they were trying to get them stuck onto the pit as well. And if it did, 
try and hit the pit release button and Xerox would have went down, but unfortunately that was not the case. Swing of the axe, stick in the corner. Not sure where the mouse is trying to go, but Xerox will want to see if it can do the same. Or bring the axe down and cause some damage. Mouse just staying away. I think it's more of a run and hide tactic and managing to get stuck as well. So Xerox trying to line up the axe and missing with the axe. So close. I thought they were just trying to cause a little bit of damage and now they're both stuck. So if Xerox can manage to go and release the pit, the mischief mice will go down and they are. They've gone down. Xerox have managed to beat both mice with some excellent driving. With the mice stuck on the pit lid, all Xerox had to do was release it. And down went the mischief mice. They were lucky last year, but unfortunately, not lucky enough in this season. Xerox are the winners. The luck has run out for the mice as they end up in the pit, and Xerox makes another semi-final. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe if you enjoyed the show. And join us next week for our penultimate heat, where 3rd Seeds Trillium and 12th Seeds Sparks will be fighting for a place in the semi-final. See you then for more Robot Carnage.